Now guys, we all know that this is a 3 volts toy DC motor, okay, permanent magnet. For this, I will be needing this adjustable 3 volts supply. I have never measured the current that it takes at 3 volts under fully loaded condition. So, I'm going to measure that right now. Okay, so now I'm going to run it. Yeah, the no load current is 0.27 amperes. Let's try and stop it to see the maximum I can reach. Yeah, it is uh, 0.5 amps. So 0.5 amps is the maximum at which this motor works. So guys, here as you can see that I made a simple setup and this piece is freely freely movable up and down. So yeah, let's uh, connect it to this high current high voltage power supply and see what happens. Okay, go. Whoa. So guys, now I've placed the motor in this slider, okay, you see, if there is a little movement or uh, availability of thrust, then this is going to fly upwards. And this is how we are going to know that the experiment is successful or possible or not, okay. So guys, everything is in place now, let's start the test. <laughs> you see that it was moving upwards, that means it was actually flying. Once again. Let's go even higher. Really nice. Well guys, let's also see the current drawn by the motor, this small motor, uh, when connected to a high voltage supplier. Okay. Such a mini motor and it is drawing 1.5 amperes. Whoa. <laughs> 3 amperes. 3.20. Well guys, I think that I can actually make a toy drone with it. Maybe in the next video. So guys, the test was successful. You can subscribe my channel if you like this video. See you in the next one. Bye-bye. Hi guys, you are watching channel Mr. Electron and this video is going to be very short and it will be visible only to those who have pressed the bell icon for all notifications from my channel. Now guys, this video is about conducting a simple test. If we can control the speed of a universal motor, a big universal motor from a washing machine with the help of a dimmer or a normal 70 watts fan speed controller. It's more like an experiment rather than a project. Let's start. Wow, it is actually controlling the speed. You can see that the speed is very slow right now. Let's increase it. <laughs> Let's go more faster. Whoa, it is super high speed right now. And at present, I'm testing it with only 20% speed controlling. Let's go faster. <laughs> now I've turned it. Now I have turned it off. So yeah, it works. We don't have to buy the expensive speed controllers to control the speed of a universal motor. Hi guys, this is a 220 volts washing machine motor and in this video, I'm going to teach you how to change its direction of rotation clockwise and anti-clockwise with a click of a switch. 
now guys this what you see is the armature of a universal motor and this one is the field winding of the universal motor now there are two wires coming out from the armature with the help of the brushes connected to the commutator similarly two wires are also coming out from the field winding of the universal motor okay let's say that one wire from the brush of the armature is connected to this wire of the field winding now two wires are left out in total one from the brushes and one from the field winding and to these two wires i'm going to connect a 12 volts battery after connecting the battery you will see that the universal motor starts running in one direction either clockwise or anti-clockwise let me show this to you practically this as you know is a universal motor from a washing machine that i have now guys this one and this one are two slots holding the brushes which are feeding the armature winding of the universal motor through the commutator so this blue wire and this pink wire these two are the brush wires and guys this is the field winding of the universal motor and these two black and white wires are the field winding wires so let's connect this black wire of the field to this pink wire of one of the brushes as you can see these two wires have been connected now we are left with this blue wire from the brush and this white wire from the field and to these two terminals a 12 volts battery will be connected well the motor is not running let's double up the battery maybe the voltage is not enough so guys the two batteries are in series now and as you can see that it has started running now guys here i have marked an arrow in the clockwise direction so let's run this motor and see if this way it runs in clockwise or in anti-clockwise so yeah that is anti-clockwise let's reverse the connections so guys as you saw that even after i changed the polarity of wires connected to the battery the direction of rotation was still anti-clockwise now guys to change the direction of rotation in the clockwise we will have to break open these two wires and replace this black wire with this white wire and then connect this white clip to this black wire okay white connected to black and these two will be connected together done and guys now as you can see that it is running in the clockwise direction you see now let's reverse the battery terminals again this one to negative and again in the clockwise direction so guys we cannot keep on changing the field wires of the universal motor a more practical solution is needed this is a 220 volts 15 amperes on off switch with six terminals and guys this is a dpdt switch double pole double throw so guys we will have to take the corner poles and then make a cross with it using wires like i'm doing it here also guys when you are going to do it always use thicker wires here i am demonstrating it with uh, just a 24 volt battery setup so i am using thin wires but this motor is really powerful and if it is to be operated at 220 volts you will need to connect thicker wires now you have to take two long wires of same color and connect them to the poles in the middle now guys to the printed side on off 15 amps to 20 volts this point and this point will be connected with the black wires yeah so in total there are four wires coming out from this double pull double throw switch so guys first i'm going to disconnect the wires that i connected previously after that this pink and this blue these are for the armature the brushes feeding the armature okay these two wires these black wires from the switch will be connected okay one black wire from the switch to the blue other black wire from the switch to the pink now both the wires from the field winding are left out 
and two wires from the switch are also left out so out of the two wires from the switch one will be connected directly to any of the two wires from the field black and white we can connect it to any one let's connect it to white now in total we have only two wires left this black wire and this white wire which will be connected to the battery and we are done so let's add an extension so I've connected this red wire to the black of the field okay and this is the pin out and to this white wire from the left out switch I will connect this white jumper cable done and finally we have these two wires to be connected to the battery okay so we already have the battery here these are the connections okay let's complete the connections white one to this side done all that is left is the red you see that it has started running okay now in the running condition if i will change the switch then things are going to be ugly so let's turn it off so at present it was running in the anti-clockwise direction okay once again i will show you yeah anti-clockwise right okay now let's put the switch to the other side okay and then touch it and now it is running in the clockwise direction cool okay once again clockwise now anti-clockwise <laughs> now clockwise Nice.